Well, if you know, doing these videos on these NFL legends is always a pleasure, and especially to talk about these great players that don't really get recognized, especially from the 60s, and especially the players that played in the HBCU campuses around that time, from the schools in the MEAC and the schools in the SWAC. And today I got a very special player, Jim Kearney. Jim Kearney's journey is a story to be told. He was a black college football All-American quarterback at Prairie View University and won a national championship with the man on the outside that played wide receiver Otis Taylor, and they wrecked havoc down there in Texas. And they played under the great Billy Nix. And when I was doing my research about Prairie View University, I was really, really taken back that it was the team of the SWAC in the 60s. And the reason I say that, because I've been so in noon of Tennessee State, where I'm from and from Memphis, so I know a lot about that program in the 60s. But I had no idea, excuse me, that Pivot View had that type of tradition going back that far. And it was coached by William Billy Nix, who in 21 seasons had 126 wins, 35 losses, eight ties. And he was from Atlanta, Georgia, a Morris Brown graduate. And he stated that Jim Kearney was the best football player he's ever coached pound for pound. But Mr. Kearney journey through the National Football League didn't really start off too well. Gentleman drafted by the Detroit Lions in 1965, played two seasons, was waived, went over and played in the Canadian Football League for a year, got his shot back with the Philadelphia Eagles, and was waived in preseason in 1968. He played so well in preseason, he caught the eye of a guy by the name of Hank Strand and became a member of the Kansas City Chiefs and became a starter on this Super Bowl XIV. And when you think about Mr. Kearney's journey, think about him being a college first team All-American 1964, winning a black college football national championship with Perry View and playing the quarterback position. Then being told that he got to change the position when he go in the National Football League. That's pretty tough. And then going through two teams that weighed him, Philadelphia and Detroit, then playing on the Canadian League. And then ending up with the Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl four champion, the Kansas City Chiefs. That's a pretty, pretty good story. His career with the Chiefs, overall, he played in 142 games, 23 interceptions, seven fumble recoveries. 1972, he tied an NFL record with four interception returns for touchdowns. The skill set. A Jim Kearney at that time on that Super Bowl IV team and with the Kansas City Chiefs, confidence A plus. FBI football intelligence A plus. Great foot speed A plus. The range A plus. Instincts he had a sixth sense, and I'm, it might have come from him playing the quarterback position A plus. Read and react A plus. The cover skills A plus. Zone recognition A plus. The poise, A+. Plus. Excellent. Listen to this. If you're going to play safety at the next level, he was one of the best open field tacklers at the safety position. Very, very physical. And the most skill set, doing my research, what they said about Mr. Kearney, is get a triple A+, plus, plus explosion. He hit with violence. He hit with violence. And then the prestige of him holding up Prairie View University, Otis Taylor, Ken Houston, Clem Daniels, Charlie Brackens, Jim Mitchell, the second oldest black institution in the world, in the United States. I really, really didn't know that about the history of Prairie View University. Only two hours from Houston. And this young man went through some trials and tribulations, but he made it. He made it. And as I always say, 
there's a lot of great athletes and great teams that touched my life in my lifetime. Me being 62 years old, star with the great classes, Clay Muhammad Ali. Star with Kurt Flood, great player with the St. Louis Cardinals. Of course, a star with Willie Gallimore, Jim Brown. Of course, Mike Garrett. And then the Tennessee State team of 1966. Edris Dickey, Jimmy Marcellus, Claude Humphrey, King Dunlap, Alvin Coleman. But when you grant, when you follow this great game of football and you follow the times especially being nine years old, going on 10 years old, the Kansas City Chiefs really made a way for the African-American football player to play in the National Football League. And to me, they kind of saved the league because they were one of those teams that had their persona. They had their style. But what they did for the black community, they brought a lot of pride. That quarterback, Lynn Dawson, just passed a few weeks ago. Much love and respect to him. Otis Taylor is not in the Hall of Fame. He needs to be in the Hall of Fame on that team. And right now, if you're watching this video, please reach out to Mr. Taylor. He deserves all the flowers. He's not doing too good. But with Mr. Kearney playing on that Super Bowl fourteen, they had 14, 13, or 14 players from the HBCU schools. That was a lot of pride, man. A lot of honor. A lot of love as being an African American athlete. And then you think about Deion Sanders right now, coaching at Jackson State. It's going to be the hottest coaching commodity of in the offseason. You got to think about that team and you got to think about how they set the tone and how they open the doors. Cesar Belsner, Arkansas Pad Bluff, Buck Buchanan, Gramlin. Robert Holmes, Southern University, Willie Lanier, Morgan State, Jimmy Marcellus, Tennessee State, Willie Mitchell, Tennessee State, Gloucester Richardson, Jackson State, Nolan Smith, Tennessee State, Goldie Sellers, Grambling, Otis Taylor, Prairie View, Emmett Thomas, Bishop, and Jim Kearney, Prairie View University. It's emotional, man. All these great players, along with Mr. Kearney, paid the way of where the game is at today for the African American athlete. That Super Bowl four victory put a lot of things in perspective. And thanks to Scout Lloyd Wales. Gotta put him in now. Thank you, Mr. Kearney. And the most important thing that I want to bring up as I end with Jim Kearney today, he's an avid golfer. But after his playing career, he decided to stay in Kansas City. He became a school, he became a teacher in the school system in Kansas City and became a science teacher, biology, chemistry, the impact he made. And a lot of people don't even know who he is. Played on one of the greatest single regular season teams, the Kansas City Chiefs. HBCU in the house today. Prairie View, Prairie View University in the house. Jim Kearney from Walton, Walton, Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you like the video today, please come in and share it. I surely, surely appreciate it here on 100 Yards Football. Special thanks to my producer, Mr. Logan Landis, for making it happen. Jim Kearney, safety, Kansas City Chiefs, drafted in 1965. 23 career interceptions, seven fumble recoveries, played in 142 games. Thank you. God bless. Enjoy the week here on 100 Yards of Football.